And why does it look like it's about to? It's raining. For freak's sake. Thanks, Rockstar. We can't win for losing. So what's up guys, Oddman105, aka the Odd One here, and welcome to this week's DLC car customization and review video. Today we'll be customizing the new Classic Broadway, the new DLC car added for this event week. It's got a normal price of 925000 and I think this is an absolute bargain for this type of a car. This is a new DLC vehicle for under a million. Now, this is not a high-performing muscle car, this is a nice, smooth, classics cruising vehicle right here and i absolutely love the retro styling of this car so in my opinion it's worth it based on looks alone so let's get out of here now i've already purchased it and just ignore the delivery colors we're not keeping it but this car looks absolutely gorgeous i love it so before we begin whether you're an OG to my channel or you're new here, thank all of you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And consider subscribing while you're here. That helps out the channel a great deal and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here because they all help out the channel a ton. And hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so the classic Broadway is designed after the real-life 1946 Oldsmobile 66 Club sedan. Again, I love the retro styling of this classic car. It is awesome. So we're going to keep this thing clean. No over-the-top muscle car builds. None of that nonsense. Let's get in this thing, have some fun with it. Let's kick the tires, light the fires, and start customization. I'll see you guys at the customization stall. All right, here we go. And as you can see, it's in the muscle car class. So this car can wheelie. Very interesting. All right, armor, 100%. Bodywork, okay. So we can add trim. Okay, you've got body trim, mid-level trim, full trim. I am leaning more towards the mid-level trim, but let's keep looking at it here. So, and again, we're not gonna do a hot rod build on this, but you can delete the fenders if you want. So, those are the options. I am going to go mid-level trim on this one. Let's do that. Brakes, race brakes, bumpers, front. Now, let's take a look at the bumper options. You can delete the bumper. You've got the bumper bars, which I kind of like on this car. Uh, but we may keep a full bumper on this one. So you've got Roadster bumper, which actually looks pretty good. Not bad. You've got bullets and power ram. That's a bit over the top. So let's go, let's go Roadster on this one. Okay, and for the rear, we'll do the same thing. That's pretty close to the original car. Engine, full upgrade. And I'm not expecting a lot out of this car in terms of performance, but that's okay. Exhaust. Now, we're not changing the exhaust, but let's take a look at the options that we have here. You've got titanium, which is just ridiculous. We're not going to do that. <laughs> You've got anodized exhaust. The wide chrome doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. In fact, it's probably the most suited for this car. And you've got finned chrome, which, believe it or not, many of the resto mods have this type of bumper, or exhaust system, excuse me. So, I think... You know what? We can go wide chrome on this one. That's not bad. We'll do that. Fenders. So, let's see. Okay, so you've got fender covers. That looks really nice, believe it or not. You've got fender cover with trim, of course. If you're going to cover the fenders, you add the trim. And you've got full trim, but since we're not doing full trim, uh, you know what? We can do that. Let's do it. The hood. You've got hood trim, full trim, which looks pretty good on this car because it's not over the top. And holy nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're not going to do any of this over-the-top nonsense, so let's go full hood trim on this one. 
It's beginning to come together. I like it. The horn. We'll leave standard. Lights. Headlights. Let's go Xenon. This is a classics car. We're not going to do a neon kit. Liveries. We'll take a look at the liveries. So you've got a vintage decals, which, depending on the paint style, looks okay. You've got two-tone flames, hot rod, which I think is fitting for a car like this, if that were the look you were going for. You've got purple. This is more of a Benny's style, I think. So that's pretty cool. You can get Benny's customizations without having an actual Benny's car. Okay, deep negative. You've got the LS Customs, white and black. Barn find, you've got the, <laughs> the rusty livery. That's pretty cool. Junkyard Classic, okay. Beaten hot, yeah, it's beaten, all right. And this is the LS Taxi uh, livery, which I'll be getting once I unlock the livery. You have to complete 50 total fares. Not in a row, but just 50 total fares to unlock the livery. So we'll get around to that someday. But for today, uh, we're not going to do a livery. So, that was the last one, yep. Lost stuff we have. Mirrors. So I kind of like the original mirrors, but let's see what we've got. Old school looks nice. We've got retro. We've got low mirrors and bullet mirrors. Now the bullet mirrors look nice too, but I think... Let's go old school mirrors on this one. Plates, and you guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. The Reese Frey primary. Now the fun begins. So let's do metallic. And I recently saw a car show on Discovery Channel where they had something similar to this in a gorgeous color. So a gorgeous two-tone. So what I want, and as you can see, look at this. This car looks absolutely gorgeous in almost any color. I love the styling of this thing, but what I want is going to be a little different. So let's go, if we can find it, there we go. Let's go gasoline green. And for the pearl, because I want to brighten it up just a little bit, but give it a little bit of blue to kind of break up the green. Okay, let's go diamond blue for the pearl. Secondary. Okay, I want a nice contrast with the roof, so we're going to go metallic, and no, no sunrise arms. That's just ridiculous. Okay, let's go cream for the roof. And you can see that uh, diamond blue peering through the white. That looks awesome. Perfect. That's what I want. Crew emblem we don't have. The roof accessories... So the Vintage Swamp Cooler, uh, this is what classic cars had prior to air conditioning, because air conditioning didn't exist <laughs> on cars like this. So you've got the Swamp Cooler, you know, actually that does look pretty cool. I mean, it's period correct for this kind of car, and it doesn't really take away from the look, so we can do that. We can do that. Suspension, now this is where things get interesting. You can slam this car. Look at that. You can absolutely slam this thing. I mean, if that's the look that you were going for, then that looks pretty awesome slammed, but I think that's a little too much. So let's go street suspension on this one. Let's do that. Transmission, full upgrade. Turbo, full upgrade. Let's make sure we got, okay, we got that. The visor. Now you know we got to put a visor on this thing. So you've got the classic visor, vintage Fulton. They all look really good, believe it or not. They all look really good. Man, this is a tough choice. This car's got some really good customizations on it. Rockstar did a good job with this one. I'm impressed. You really can't go wrong with any of them, believe it or not. So let's go, man, this is a tough choice. Let's go vintage car so on this one because of the trim along the visor. Let's do that. 
the wheels, wheel type, and this is going to be tricky also. So let's go low rider and let's go stock. Now believe it or not, the original wheels look the best in my opinion. And we may not change them. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to be able to do any kind of tire design on this. Uh, the stock wheels, I think, are the best for this car. So, uh, stock wheels it is, and we've already got the white wall, so we don't need to worry about customization. Yeah, wheel color and everything else we can't do. Uh, we can bulletproof the tires, so we'll do that. And we're not going to do tire smoke. Windows, and you know we got to limo this thing out and check that out. Look at it. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, I think that's it. Yep, so when the sun comes up, we'll test drive it, but for now, let's park it. Beautiful. Good job on this one, Rockstar. Okay, guys, and we're back, and check it out. Beautiful. Look at the way the sun peers into that gasoline green with that diamond blue pearl. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And why does it look like it's about to... It's raining. For freak's sake. Thanks, Rockstar. We can't win for losing. Alright, so when it stops raining, we'll test drive it. Okay, now that it's not raining, let's uh, send it. Okay, it's not fast, but it's definitely not slow. We're picking up speed. Handles pretty well. Brakes. Braking could be better, but again, this is a classics car. Not bad, but this car is all about the looks. First person, look at that interior. Nice. So this is one of those nice low and slow cruisers that you buy to role play as you're driving around Los Santos. This is a gorgeous car. That color absolutely pops in the sunlight. I love it. And remember, this thing is only 925000 for a DLC car. You guys need to get this one. Very nice. I love it. Okay, let's take a really quick look at the interior. As you guys can see, we have an excellent rendering on the engine model, and the pulleys actually work, so Rockstar did an outstanding job on that, in my opinion. You've got the interior, which looks really nice. It's not bad. This is the interior from the Peyote, I believe. The seats could be a little better, but they're not bad. I like the way this uh, vehicle turned out. And as you can see, if you look at the floor, <laughs> the floor carpets, or uh, the floor rug, it says Vapid. So that's from the Peyote. <laughs> Come on, Rockstar, you guys slipped. And of course, you've got the trunk. Overall, excellent job on this car. Rockstar did a really good job, except for the floor mats. Okay, guys, and we're back. And I absolutely love the Classic Broadway. This car is phenomenal. Now, I'm not talking about performance. The performance on this car is not that great, but this is a classic muscle car, so it performs as it should. I love it. The appearance is off the chain on this one. Rockstar nailed it with the styling of this classic car. Now, I have two major gripes. 
Number one, the floor mats in this car say Vapid, <laughs> and they're from the Peyote, so Rockstar could have done a better job with that. Number two, this car, when you drive this thing out in the Grand Sonora Desert, it gets dirty really quickly. <laughs> so, so beyond that, those are the only gripes I have. I absolutely love this car, and guys, it's only 925000 for this absolutely epic retro design classic car. I love it. You guys need to get this one. And hey, if you really want to wait, just wait till it's on sale and get it then because it's absolutely worth it in my opinion. So with that being said, guys, this car stays in my collection. It ain't going anywhere. And this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, coming to you live once again from the LS Car Meet with this week's DLC car customization and review of the Classic Broadway. Absolutely worth it. If you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.